Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving my recommendations for the Nykaa Hot Pink Sale. Now just a few quick disclaimers is that none of these products are sponsored or anything of that sort. It is been used, tested and loved by me. I have recommended mostly the products that I have in my vanity like in front of me. And I'm also not going over the discounts. Like even if it's not on discount right now at the moment, some of the products will be on discount later on. So yeah these are just like my recommendations holy grail ride or die sort of products the other thing is that i have not included hair products or perfumes because perfume on its own is like a separate video so yeah those two are not included and also is skincare i have not dived into it because skincare that i use are not available on nika so it doesn't make sense for me to like talk about it for the Nykaa hot pink sale. All right, so the discounts in this sale, I will mention it somewhere on the screen while I'm talking about the products. And also I have made like a huge list of products. So if I'm looking down, that means I'm reading off of the list that I have made. So for reference, my foundation shade is NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline is 310 Sun Beige. And I live in Chennai, which is extremely hot and humid. On top of that, I have extremely oily skin as well. Now, before we can get into the video, and if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right in the video. Alright, the first category is a moisturizer and I have is only one product and that is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Now, this is extremely good if you have oily skin like mine. However, if you have like dry skin or normal skin, I will suggest any other moisturizer. But yeah, if you have oily skin, this is so really good. It is quite expensive and the dupe of this is actually the Pons one. But that one actually kind of broke me out. So I don't use it anymore. I have decluttered it. So yeah, this is really good. Next category is sunscreen screen and i have two recommendations especially if you have oily skin and the first one is the bior one now this is the watery essence one this is very very thin water like consistency does not give any white cast or anything as such there's no pilling as well and the next one that i have is the l'oreal one now this is the matte version of this one now this again actually mattifies the skin it doesn't give a white cast and there's no pilling as well for me both of them are spf 50 pa plus 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 next up we have is lip balms now if you have subscribed to me for a while you guys know i swear by the laneige lip sleeping mask now i have it on all the flavors and it is also scattered all over my house like i have a bunch over here in my filming room i have a bunch in my bedroom and then in my living room as well so yeah i swear by it however if it's the first time you're buying it then i would highly suggest buying the mini size version first see if you like it and then maybe upgrade to the full size version next is lip exfoliator and i really like the elf ones now i really like these especially is because it comes like a lipstick form and not like in a pot where you have to put your finger in so i really like these because they're like no hassle and it does a great job as well Oh, and just a quick fun fact is that the e.l.f. exfoliator, they come actually with a lip balm underneath. It's not for all of them. This is the coconut version. It doesn't have that. But these have that underneath where you also have like a lip balm. The next category is tools as in sponges or brushes to apply your makeup. Now in this, we do have a lot of like affordable brands. And the first one that we have is the e.l.f. one. I really love their sponges. Like right now in my vanity, I have these three sponges which are kind of dirty. I have to wash them. And then there is this one for concealer as well, which I really do like. Again, that's also dirty. And then for brushes, we have is from the Mask Cosmetics brush set. It is such a good quality. It's a good golden one like i have done like a dedicated video on it i will link it above if you're interested and also their four in one travel brush as well great quality affordable price so yeah if it's on sale pick those up and we have the swiss beauty brush set as well which is also very good quality it's really soft and nice and it is a little bit more inexpensive compared to the mars one now the next category is base makeup which i really really love and the first one are primers now i really love primers because that's like a good foundation for your foundation uh, the first one is the Makeup Forever Step 1. This is a mattifying primer. Next one is the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. Now, unfortunately, Becca has a shutdown. I think this product is discontinued. I already got like a backup. Like, hold on. So this is the backup version of it. As soon as I came to know Becca is shutting this shop, then I picked up the backup. So yeah, it is a very good primer. However, it's extremely mattifying. I would not recommend this if you have normal or dry skin. The Makeup Forever one, one thing is that it is 
great for mattifying your skin but it doesn't do much to your pores so i kind of club this with the other primers that i have which are pore minimizing now, i like to pair the makeup forever one along with the smashbox pore minimizing primer this is the purple colored one so this is great for like minimizing your pore so like i mentioned before i either club this along with the makeup forever one or else i use as the smashbox one now this is the original one which is the uh, smooth and blurred primer which is like silvery so this is also a very good primer and i have a dupe for this which is the nika premier primer now this i feel is quite similar to this one in a way affordable price another primer that i have been recently loving a lot is the essence one now this is the poreless skin blurring putty primer now i love this for blurring my pore however oil control wise this is not that great so what i do is i club this along with the nika premier primer because this is great for controlling oil and today on my face i have used both of these i went with this one first and then i topped it off with the nika one so like i said i really love my base makeup especially primers and foundations there is one other product which is the elf poreless putty primer this is great for blurring your pore i also have as a matte putty primer but i don't find this to be that great if you have like extremely oily skin like mine however if you have like combination skin this will be good but just for pores the poreless putty primer is a great product the next category is illuminators and now who does not like a good glow on their face and the first product that i would recommend and highly recommend is actually the elf halo glow this is in the shade number four which recently got launched if i'm not wrong unfortunately this one is not on sale and majority of the products are out of stock at the moment but whenever it is on sale pick these up if you're interested in a good glow the next product is the charlotte tilbury's hollywood flawless filter and this is in the shade 4.5 and this again is such a good glowing product none of these products by the way that i'm recommending have any glitter or shimmer particles it just gives a very nice glow on the face this one however has a little bit less coverage compared to the elf one the last product in this category we have is a good old mac strobe cream this is in the shade pink light again a mini size version in this this is more or less like a moisturizer but gives a good glow low on your skin and it is great for like everyday basis next category is one of my most favorite category out of all that is foundations and the first highly recommended product is the estee lauder double wear foundation now this one i don't know if you guys can see i have finished like half a bottle of it please ignore the pump it doesn't pump anymore so yeah i don't use a pump but i have to clean it like this foundation especially if you have oily skin is great or if you want your makeup to last throughout the day this is extremely good this is the foundation that i used for my wedding because i did my own wedding makeup i also have another backup of the same estee lauder double wear but the mini size version of it one of them is in the shade ratan and the other one is cashew oh and the full size version is in the shade cashew like cashew perfectly matches my skin but if i want it to be a little bit light or if it's oxidizing i like to mix it along with ratan and in second place i have is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation now this is in the shade number seven and this again is such a good long lasting full coverage foundation you have to use very little with this foundation like very little today i have used this on my face and i use like hardly one pump so what i do with these full coverage foundation is that i apply a little at a time blend it and then go over with the other side but out of the two if i have to choose one of them then it will be the estee lauder double wear foundation and the next few foundations that i have which come under mid-range the first one i love the most is the l'oreal infallible 24 hours fresh wear foundation now this is in shade 260 i really love the finish of this foundation and it is really long lasting on oily skin as well and coming in really close with the l'oreal one is the pack foundation which i really love as well this is in the shade 2.5 again this gives like a very lovely finish and it's very long lasting as well however if you do club it with a very good primer it will give you the most flawless base the next category is concealer and there are two concealers that i reach out to the most and highly recommend as well the first one is the Too faced born this way concealer such a good concealer now just fii is that my under eyes are dry even though my whole face is extremely oily even my eyelids are oily but my under eyes are very dry so for the last year year and a half i have switched to more like hydrating concealers and this works really great this is in the shade taffy which is almost like my skin color and the next concealer that i use the most whenever i film when i need that brightening sort of an effect and that is the milani conceal and perfect concealer now this is in the shade 140 pure beige this is kind of like a brightening concealer and it works 
was great for my dry under eyes. Oh, and uh, today that's a concealer that I have used. Now coming to the mid-range sort of category, the first one that I love a lot is the Maybelline Age Rewind. Now I do not have it because it got over a long time back. I used to use it. So if you go back to any of my very old videos, I have used it a lot. Like I used to use it for like two years straight. And the shade that I used to use was a medium. For my skin tone, it was more or less like a brightening sort of a concealer. And the next product is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. This is in the shade 312 Amber. This again is like a brightening sort of a concealer for my skin tone. And this is also a very good formula wise. And the last one is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. Not the other one. I do have the other one as well. Like, hold on. Yeah, I have the 16 hour Camo Concealer, but it was a bit too drying for my skin. So I switched to the hydrating one. And I really love this one for my dry under eyes. Well, the Elf one is in the shade Medium Sand. It's a little bit brightening, not too much, but yeah. And also all of these concealer that I'm talking about, they are sort of this hydrating kind of a concealer. It does not crease too much for me under my eyes. And the next category is a loose powder. Now the loose powders that I am using and recommending is the ones that are great for oily skin. Now, the first most used one is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Loose Powder. Unfortunately, this has been discontinued, but I did buy this from Nykaa. So almost like half over. I use this a lot. But yeah, this has been discontinued and the next best loose powder if you have extremely oily skin is the Innisfree No Sebum Loose Powder. Now, this specific one that I have, the green color one, it is the Menthos Melon one. Again, I bought it from Nykaa. However, this one slightly looks a little bit whitish when I initially applied. But as soon as I step out and go into like the humidity of Chennai, then it becomes absolutely fine. But initially when you apply it, it does look a little bit whitish. And the next product that I have is the Elf Halo glow loose powder now this is such a good loose powder i feel it's very underrated not many people talk about this but this gives a very glowy sort of a look to your face whenever you set your face with it and this does not make my skin oily or anything like this is great if you have even oily skin oh i almost forgot and the other most used loose powder that i used to use a lot like if you go back to my old videos you can see me using it a lot of times is the maybelline loose powder it fit me one and in that i was a shade light medium if i I'm not wrong and that again is a great powder even if you have oily skin like it doesn't have like great oil controlling sort of a thing but it's good now another loose powder that i've heard great things about is the hura beauty loose powder which i have bought by the way it is the easy bake loose powder which i got is the shade banana bread i have heard it is amazing if you have oily skin but i have not tested it so i hope it works on my skin but yeah it's on the way the next category is like a finishing powder which is not like in a loose form but more or less like for setting your face makeup and the first product that i would highly recommend is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder now this is the shade number two medium this does not have oil control by the way but it looks amazing when you set your makeup with this so i have used this in multiple videos and also whenever i do my makeup and for just the finishing touch i use this powder and the last powder that i have is the rimmel stay matte powder now this is kind of like mattifying sort of a powder it's in the shade translucent I really like this because it does mattify my skin and it is quite inexpensive as well. And the next category is eyebrows and for the most used product, however, I will not highly recommend it. That is because it is extremely pricey and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade. Now this is in the shade Dark Brown. I use this almost every day and even after that, this is the amount of product that has been used so far. I still have so much of the product left over. Now, the reason I'm saying that this is not highly recommended is because it's extremely pricey. Even after a discount, it is quite expensive and it does not come with a brush. Like I separately bought the brush again from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like that one single brush itself costed 2000 rupees. And also this is actually my second pot. The first one I already used to use and then this is the second one that I repurchased, I think like a year back or so. But even after using it almost every day, very little gets over. So this was more or less like an investment for me because rather than spending like five, 600 rupees every three months for different eyebrow products, I just paid like 2000 rupees at one shot and this lasts for me like two, two and a half years. I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, like I said, I would not highly recommend this, but this is by far my most favorite eyebrow product. Now, if not for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, I always reach out is for this micro pencil sort of an eyebrow product, such as the Elf one. 
like this is the kind of eyebrow product that i really like which is very fine thin and it gives that precise kind of an application now this particular one from elf is really really good however this lasts like only about like three to four months whenever i use it on a daily basis so similar to this one is the nyx brow pencil i will insert a picture of it because it got over a long time back and identical to the nyx one is the nika micro pencil that again got over and uh, yeah i will insert a picture of it now the next category is eyebrow gel. I have tried a lot of them from Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze as well as the Elf Clear Brow as well. But the one that I really recommend and that is very long lasting is the Benefit one. Now this is a 24 hours brow setter and if you do use it correctly, your eyebrows will not move throughout the day no matter how oily you get. So yeah, my first recommendation is the benefit one now the next eyebrow gel that i have which is extremely affordable is the essence one now unfortunately this is mostly out of stock i'm not so sure if it is in stock right now on nika but this is such a good product it is slightly tinted but it's not as budge proof as the benefit one but this does a good job for the price the next category is eyeliner and the most used a lot and repurchased multiple times for me is the Maybelline Colossal Bold Eyeliner. I have used this all the time. I have used it today as well. I personally like like a brush tip rather than a felt tip eyeliner and this does such a good job. It's quite inexpensive as well. So yeah, the first product that I would recommend is the Maybelline one. And the next product is something that is on the way. I have ordered it, which is a second time purchase for me. And that is the NYX Epic Liner. The brush for this is really soft and precise. It looks like a felt tip liner, but it's actually a brush tip liner. Yeah, so this one is a bit old and it's already over so that's the reason why I repurchased another one and this is the disco edition that's why it's gold in color but normally it's black in color. Now there are three other eyeliners which are like honorable mentions which are really really good. I have used them before I still use them but I just don't reach out to them that much and that one is the Lakme Iconic Eyeliner. Now this again is such a good eyeliner. This particular one is in the shade brown but I have used black before and it works like a charm and the brush for this one is extremely extremely thin so the only time I kind of use this is when I tight line my like eyeliner if I do not have to create like a wing liner then I use this one and then we have is the elf precision eyeliner I have used it before it got over but I really love that one as well and the other last one is the essence one I have recently bought it not during the sale or anything but I just bought it separately and I really like that one as well if you're looking for like a gel eyeliner which is really long lasting and matte and black then the first one that I would recommend is the inglot eyeliner now that one I purchased it for my wedding but I cannot find it anymore but I do have it I have used it I really like it as as well and a dupe of that one is the Maybelline one as well as the Nika one they both come with a brush now the Maybelline and the Nika gel eyeliners they both are very matte bold black and long lasting as well irrespective of your eyelids being oily or not and I have also done like a dedicated video on them so if you're interested I will link it above you can check it out and the next category is mascara the most used and the highly recommended one comes from a very affordable brand and that is the essence lash princess the green color one now this is not waterproof which i'm absolutely fine with but this gives such a good volume and length to my very straight eyelashes but the only problem with this is that it's always out of stock majority of the time hardly you will be able to find these next mascara that i would recommend is the maybelline one now it looks in a rose gold color i forgot what it's called i used to have it i used to use it a lot of times like i have done like multiple videos before using the same mascara but i no longer have it with me and the next category is false eyelashes i have two brands that i would highly recommend the first one is the pack lashes like this is kind of like a no-brainer i even used one of the pack lashes for my wedding and the next set of lashes that i really love and highly recommend and it's much more inexpensive than the pack one is the pro art one i literally have like a bunch of them because that's how much i like them and it is really really inexpensive as well especially i think it's called the fluffy 3d silk one and it's really really good for the price the only thing is that the band is a little bit thick but otherwise the lash style I really like it because it looks really natural some of them and some of them can look really really glam as well and for the lash glue category the only one that I would highly recommend is the pack lash glue now I have the shade black which I use it every time and I have the transparent one as well now I have used the Miss Claire one which is really good but I do not find it to be very long-lasting like the pack one and the next category is casual and I'm extremely low maintenance when 
when it comes to kajals the reason is because i have tried these very gel smudge proof long lasting kajals but what happens is i have extremely sensitive eyes i do not know if this happens to others or not but for me what happens is my vision starts getting really cloudy like immediately as soon as i apply it it becomes very cloudy i cannot see very clearly and there's a lot of gunk that starts coming out of my eyes so yeah that's why i kind of like steer away from like gel long lasting smudge proof kajals i do not use that anymore but the three most used kajal that i always use the first one is the maybelline colossal bold kajal now this is very inexpensive so yeah this is great for every day and the other two that i use the most again is from lakme as well as the nika black magic now the lakme one is the iconic insta cool kajal and i don't think it gives a very cooling cooling sort of an effect but it's a good kajal and also is the, the nika black magic kajal again a very good kajal i mainly use kajal whenever i smudge it under my eyes and i really like that and these three do a very good job for it now all of these kajals are retractable because that's what i personally prefer however if you're looking like for a pencil kajal the plum one is really good but i don't use it i have given it to my mom she uses it all the time but yeah the plum kajal is also really good dark black kajal the next category is eyeshadow palettes now there are some high end palettes that i would recommend and there are some very affordable palettes as well so for the high end one and if you're a beginner i would highly recommend is the morphe palette that is a jacklyn hill palette the volume 1 that is such a good palette because in that one single palette you can make eye looks for everyday purposes as well as like a glam sort of a look as well and i do have the palette and i do not use it as much as i should but yeah it's a very good palette if you're a beginner now the next palette that i would recommend is the huda beauty one the quality is amazing and this is the time on a sale is when you can pick these up because the prices will be really low now in the obsession palette i have is only two of the huda beauty one and both of them are no longer available the first one that i have and i used to use the most i do not even remember the name i don't have it with me in my vanity right now but i have it somewhere and i will insert the picture of what it looks like now this one i got when it was initially launched i love the quality of this and it is such a versatile palette as well and the other palette that i have is the gold obsession now this one unfortunately was never launched in india and i got it from uk now this again is such a good lovely gold palette if that's what you're looking for and that is what i was looking for when i bought it because it was during my wedding time because this palette has such good different type of gold shades which goes really well for like wedding Now for the bigger Huda Beauty palettes I do not own any of them and the reason is because I have most of the shades with me so I'm happy with my existing collection of eyeshadow palettes that's the reason why I never thought of buying it so yeah whenever you're planning to buy any eyeshadow palette especially if it is like a luxury brand then I would suggest like think about it like is this versatile enough for you to make it for like an everyday basis for like a glam night and even for a wedding and then buy them but then if you're someone like a collector of makeup then yeah by no means go ahead and buy whatever palette that you love now another luxury brand is the anastasia beverly hills one i have was only one eyeshadow palette which again is discontinued no longer available that is the jackie aina palette i really love this palette it is great if you have a brown skin or darker skin tone as well because this palette has really really deep tones to it next palette that i use and reach out to the most which comes under kind of like affordable it is the elf bite size palette these are such good quality i have like almost all of them some of them are kind of like lying somewhere else but yeah this is what i have in my vanity over here i really love these palettes the quality is a plus plus and also with just this one four pan palette you can create like two or three eye looks which i really do like and they all go well with each other now coming to glitters now i do not like loose glitters i do not like glitters that is there on eyeshadow palette which is kind of like loose when you apply them or use like a glitter glue or anything because it's too much of a work i personally like and use a lot what is the liquid glitters and the most favorite one for me personally is the elf one found them and i have two shades which is flirty birdie which is this one and i have is 24 karat gold i really love these liquid glitters now i used to have is a stila one and that is long dried out and it's over as well but i have it somewhere but yeah this comes very close formula wise to it it's very glittery and it sticks well to your eyelids as well to so make sure that you do not use it on your bare eyelids you have to have like a base like a concealer on your eyelids 
and then you can use any eyeshadow and apply them or even without an eyeshadow and it will look great and now we're moving on to blushes finally back to the base the first most used and highly recommended blush that i would suggest is the milani luminoso blush now, this is really really old it is actually touching a pan i have used this so many times before it gives such a nice flush of color and it is very buildable as well it has a slight glow to it which i really like and that's what i have used as blush today as well however there is another blush that i would recommend which comes under the luxury category and that is the too faced cloud crush blushes now this is in the shade cloud crush which will be great if you have like fair skin however for medium skin i would suggest using like another shade but this again gives a very nice blurred sort of a flush of color which i really like and it's very buildable as well but out of the two i would recommend is the milani one now for cream to liquid blushes i have three products that i would recommend and these come under like a mid-range price wise the first one is the flower beauty blush bomb this is in the shade bitten it is really pigmented it will be great for any skin type however for fair to medium skin tone you will have to use very little but like you can see how much i have used it it looks so bad so yeah that is the first product it gives a very nice semi matte finish similar to this one is the makeup revolution super dewy blushes now i do not have it with me on my vanity right now but yeah i have used this multiple times i love the shades they offer and thank god even though it says super dewy it's not that dewy and the last product is the elf putty blushes now this is the matte variant not the dewy variant of it so yeah it gives a very nice pigmentation however but the shade ranges that they offer currently on Nykaa is very less but it's a very very good blush as well now all of these blushes they are oily skin friendly i feel that even though it gives like a satin matte finish it doesn't make my skin super oily and the next category is contours and bronzers now the first one which i have used the most is the LA Girl Pro Conceal concealer this is in the shade beautiful bronze which is a nice warm tone sort of a contour so yeah i still have quite a bit left over but i recently switched to a different one but yeah i used to use this a lot like i used to have only this one to use as for contouring and the next product that i have is a physician's formula butter bronzer this is such a good bronzer very buildable it's soft like butter unfortunately if i'm not wrong it's not available on nykaa it, they do have like a lighter shade and very similar to it and the third product that i would highly recommend and it's also become like my recent favorite is the rimmel one now this is the natural bronzer and this is the darkest shade which is sundown this again is very buttery soft not as much as the physician's formula but still it is very soft on the skin very buildable this is quite a dark shade i don't have to build it anymore at all but it blends beautifully and the other two contour shades that i used to use before the first one is the wet and wild dolce de leche i will insert a picture of how it looks like again i used to use this a lot before in my older videos but it has long expired and i no longer have it with me right now but that again is a very nice buildable sort of like a bronzer contour kind of a thing and the last product that is extremely inexpensive it is a swiss beauty double trouble duo stick this is in the shade 02 beige focus which is like a neutral brown shade like for my skin it gives the right amount of warmth i really like this one now even though these are like a cream product it does not make my skin super oily and it is easily blendable as well the next category is highlighters and the first and the most used highlighter that i would recommend is the becca champagne pop this is the mini version of it like i have used so much of it it gives such a nice glow to your face and yeah this is the most use today i used it only on my inner corner of my eyelids and the next highlighter which is a bit more blinding than the champagne pop is the ofra rodeo drive highlighter again both of them are mini sized and, and they both are extremely blinding and buildable as well these are the kind of highlighters where you need the tiniest amount to get the perfect glow now there are two more highlighters which i no longer have with me but i used to use it a lot before like even in my older videos i have used them the first one is the maybelline highlighter which is this is the master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold i used to love that a lot and the next one is a wet and wild highlighter in precious petal now these both for the prices it is worth every rupee so yeah these are the four most recommended highlighters 
in my opinion now coming to setting spray especially to make your makeup last longer as well as for oily skin the first one that i would suggest is the nyx matte setting spray now i used to use it again before in my older videos it, it got over a long time back and i decluttered it so yeah that is my most used setting spray that i used to use before and the next setting spray that will make your makeup last longer and does not make my skin super oily it is the milani make it last setting spray this is the mini size version and this is such a good setting spray as well i still feel it's kind of underrated but yeah this is such a good spray now the luxury version of this one is the charlotte tilbury setting spray this again makes the makeup last longer but i do not feel this is like great for oily skin so i have not used it that much just to make my skin mattify but if you have like dry normal skin or even combination skin this will work great and the next setting spray especially if you have really oily skin it's a little bit high up there in price wise there is the mac one now this is the fix plus matte version this is great if you have oily skin and you also want to make your makeup last longer it's great as a finishing spray or even to start off your makeup with for lip liners this is the bunch of lip liners that i have which are not like super high end but it comes like under mid range extremely affordable kind of like lip liners the ones that i would highly recommend is the milani one as well as the la girl one now this one is the understatement lip liner which is the retractable type of one i really like the formula of these and i really love the colors that i have as well which is 170 saucy toffee as well as 150 cinnamon statement and the next one from milani is the color statement lip liner now this is in the shade spice this is more or less like a pencil sort of a lip liner the next lip liner that i have is a pencil form and this is from the brand LA Girl and this is in the shade Spice again a beautiful shade it's a pencil type of a lip liner and a good formula as well oh and very recently i bought is the pack lip liners and they are really long and there's a lot of product the formula of these is also really really good and in the affordable category i have is a wet and wild one and this is such a good product and it's extremely inexpensive this is in the shade chestnut and my recent favorite is the mars edge of desire lip liner again extremely affordable and lovely shade range and now finally for lipsticks now first one is not like a lipstick but i really do like it and that is the too faced lip injection this is the maximum plump This is something that I use all the time before I apply my makeup so that my lips are a little bit plump. Now it's not very long lasting plumping sort of an effect, but initially it does give that nice plump effect. Now we're diving into proper liquid lipsticks. Now the products that I'm going to be listing out are the products that I have used and I love the formula and some of the shades also I have specified that I really do like. The first one is from MAC and that is the Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks and that is in the shade Feel So Grand. It is such a beautiful color. Unfortunately for me the cap the whole thing kind of like broke when I actually picked it up from the store but even then it completely broke on me which is really really sad but yeah, it's such a beautiful color irrespective if you are fair medium darker skin tone rather than ruby woo which is like a bit of a drying a bullet lipstick i would prefer this one next is the too faced melted matte liquid lipsticks i have three shades with me it is somewhere there i do not have the time to go and search for it but yeah that one is an amazing formula as well very long lasting and they have a beautiful choice of shades and the next one is from smashbox now their liquid lipstick especially in two shades that i like a lot because i had like a bunch of them now the first shade that i love a lot is driver seat that one is really good if you have like fair to medium skin tone next one is a shade boss now that one is a beautiful red shade irrespective of your skin tone it will look absolutely beautiful on you the next liquid lipstick that i really like formula wise especially and this particular shade is from line crime plushies and it's in the shade butterscotch so if you have like fair or medium skin tone it will be beautiful they do have like a decent shade range i do not have the other shades but the one butterscotch it is really beautiful. beautiful i have used it multiple times and then is the simply nam liquid lipsticks now i have one more shade i cannot find it but this particular shade madhu i have used it so much it's almost getting over this is like a great everyday for work sort of a lipstick shade that i used to use and the other shade that i have is a shade dolly and the other one i think is priyanka which is like a pinky peachy sort of a tone so yeah these are very comfortable on the lips beautiful shades especially for indian skin tone however they're not like super long lasting but they will last long and then i have is the kiro beauty liquid lipstick i cannot find right now at the moment but i do have an 
I really love the shades they offer. Especially for Indian skin tone, you will be able to find the right nude shades. However, for the Kiro one, I don't go like for the full opacity. I use very little and then blot it all across my lips. And I really like the way how that looks. And then the next one is the Love Earth one, which is the liquid mousse. Initially I had is the mini size version and I already did like a video on it. And this is the full size version of it. And today also what I'm wearing is bottomless mimosa. The only drawback I could see with this one is that they do not have like a good shade for dusky or darker skin tone. Oh, I also really love and I used to use a lot is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Now I love the shade especially especially a lot is Leon. Like that shade is like my lips but better on my pigmented lips and for my skin tone. And the next shade that I really used to love a lot and used to wear it a lot for office used to be the shade Kans. And similar to this is the shade Rome, which is a little bit more deeper. And if you have dusky or darker skin tone, that will look absolutely beautiful on you. There are so many lipsticks that I could talk about, like which comes under mid-range to very affordable. But just on top of my head, what I can remember is the Nika Matte to Last Liquid Lipsticks, especially in the shade Madras Carpe. It is such a beautiful brown shade. And then is Maybelline. Maybelline has so many shades, no matter what type of lipstick you want, you can find it in Maybelline. They have such beautiful colors which are like beautiful dupes of like high range lipsticks. In Maybelline one, personally, the only ones that I kind of do not lean towards is the Superstay Matte Lip Ink as well as their Vinyl. The Vinyl Ink, I kind of like it, but it's a little bit tacky for my personal choice. But it is really long lasting. But apart from those two, there are so many in Maybelline that are like A++ when it comes to formula wise. And in L'Oreal is the shade I explore I forgot what range or collection it is called but I will insert the picture right here that again is a beautiful my lips but better or like a nude shade if you have fair or medium skin tone but yeah if it comes to very affordable liquid lipsticks there are so many that I really love and reach out for that comes from the brand like Swiss Beauty, Mars Cosmetics, Inset Cosmetics and even Blue Heaven so yeah there are so many in that and I have done so many videos on that as well. I almost forgot about this category and that is a lip gloss now there are two different lip glosses that i really love and highly recommend the first one is from lime crime and now this is the wet cherry gloss it's clear sort of a gloss I really love this like a topper. There is no color or shimmer to it. I just love it on its own. And the other gloss that I would highly recommend is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. There are two shades in particular. First one is Petal, which is a beautiful pink shade, which is like a perfect nude sort of a topper or just on its own itself. If you have fair or medium skin tone, it will look beautiful. But if you have dusky or darker skin tone, it will be great as a topper. And similar to that is the shade Topaz, which is like a dupe of the Fenty one. Now, both of these glosses are really, really glossy. Formula wise, it's really good and I feel it's worth every rupee. So yeah. So yeah, this finally wraps up today's video. I hope I covered everything. And if I've missed out on anything, then I will add it as a comment and I'll pin it. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to Sonify whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try myself for you as well as follow me on my socials, which are on Instagram and Shnair on Twitter as well. So until next time, take care. Bye.